Hello my viewers, uh, I am Indal Kacho. Today I will show you how to insert automatic table of content and uh, page numbers. So let's start the tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial video, I have a sample proposal that we have formatted in the previous tutorial video while formatting this proposal. So I use this uh, as a sample, okay? So to insert automatic table of content, first we should have a page, yeah, page numbers. As you can see here, there is no page number. So we need to insert page numbers, especially for preliminary pages in Roman numbers. And for from chap starting from chapter one, you should make a normal page numbers, yeah. It it must have uh, normal page number one here. To make this separation, first we should make a page break, okay, page break. So let make, let's make a page break at two places, at between the cover page and the acknowledgement part, and then we'll make a page break between executive summary and chapter one. So first let's start from here. You can click at the end of the cover page, then you'll go to the page uh, layout, the page layout, then you can uh, select breaks. Here we have breaks, then you will have uh, section breaks at the middle here and you will select the next page next page insert a section break and start the new section on the next page it says okay you can press this one then you can delete the space again you will break uh, from uh, after executive summary here before chapter one before chapter one so we can press simply here and you can make page break next page and you can delete the space now let's search, insert the pages uh, pages it will start automatically from acknowledgement it must be page number one so let's press double click on the footer at anywhere okay you can make a double click on footer then you can insert uh, uh, footer footer for instance let's select this one then uh, as you can see it says page 2 and even it is not in a roman format so uh, you can go to the page number and you will change the format then format page number as you can see here and here at the top you can change the pages uh, pages and you will make it either in a small letter or in a uppercase in uppercase so and it must start from one <coughs> you should on start at page one page one and you can press ok as you can see now it is page one in roman numbers or you can write anything here or you can delete simply okay now it says page uh, five page uh, two and page one but make sure that there is no footer in the cover page okay but unfortunately we have a footer in the cover page so it is not advisable to have a footer in the cover page footer and header in the cover page so to remove this one you should uh, double click and uh, in the home tab there is a different first page so you should make this one different first page must be on okay then it will automatically disappear so now the cover page is good so you can see the print uh, view the print view for the cover page so there is no page and there is no header and footer so it is good now let's uh, insert the normal page number starting from chapter one chapter one here in chapter one it says page six page six but it must be page one page one so let's convert this one you will make a double click on this part then you'll go to page number and you format page number then you can say click on start at one yeah start at one then okay as you can see it is automatically converted into page one page one so in this way we have inserted the table or the page numbers as you can see we have page numbers now let's give uh, headings and labels for each uh, uh, heading so let's start from the acknowledgement part in the acknowledgement we should give this one as heading one yeah heading one 
and we need to format this heading so that we can use uh, uh, format throughout our document while we select heading one so you will select this file because as you can see the color is in blue the font type is in Cambri, not times in new roman even the font is different so uh, we can adjust this one you can select then goes to heading one and you'll have a right click right click on heading one then modify then you can adjust the uh, font okay font type must be times new roman and the size must be 12 and it must be in black and again as you can see in the preview acknowledgement will appear in this way so there is a huge space between acknowledgement in the previous paragraph so we should adjust yeah first it must be as the center then you should minimize the spacing by this one okay as you can see here now it is good uh, before the paragraph we have six, six points and after the paragraph we have uh, six points here so it is good now you can say okay okay then in this way we can uh, adjust other uh, headings for instance table of content must be also in uh, heading one in heading one and you should remove this space then list of figure must be also in heading one and you should remove again list of table it must be in heading one and you can remove unnecessary space like this then executive summary it must be in heading one and also chapter one we have uh, chapter one and it must be in heading one now to check whether those headings are automatically converted or not uh, it's better to own the navigation panel okay so in the view part in the view tab you will go to view tab then you click on a navigation panel okay so that it will appear in the left column so you will check when you whenever you select the heading it will automatically appear in this uh, uh, panel okay in the same way we can make a uh, a subheading for background so first let's select this one and you will make it heading 2 and we need to format uh, in the same way and we need to change the color Then we need to give a label, yeah? It is label uh, 1.1. So from here, you can select this one. So it automatically appears here. So then we can format, format painter. Then we can make it statement of the problem is 1.2. And again, you need to format general objective then we have sorry objective is 1.3 and general objective must be 1.31 because this is a sub heading which is insert level so first we should make this one is heading 3 yeah then you can format can format and you need to adjust the spacing and you need to give the label for this one must be in in this format okay so it is one point three to make it the space you can drag just like this okay Then you can format this one to the specific objective and it is 1.32 and uh, for a research question it must be 1.4 so you can format like this it is 
so in this way you can finish the the rest okay let's make it format for hypothesis again make it format for scope again can format this one 1 1.7 and the last one is organization of the paper and it must be 1.8 as you can see so in this way you can finish the first chapter and you should make this one this must be heading to then we need to give uh, a label yeah a label from this one if we have uh, level 2.1 you can select so it must be level 2.1 then you can format you can format for 2.2 2.2 is conceptual framework then you can remove this one again you can remove this one again you can format this one for 2.3 here we have two point three, and you need to remove this one. Again, I think there are subheadings in this part. First, let's remove this one, and for this one, you can select heading three. Sorry, it must be heading three. Then you can select the label for this part. Uh, 2.31 yes it must be like this let's minimize the space and you can format this one for 2.31 I mean 2.32 yes first let's make this one back then you will go to the And let's select and make it 2.32 again you can format this into the last one so. this part this part and we need to remove this one So in this way we can make uh, a format and we have reached in chapter uh, 3. So let's make this, let's remove this unnecessary space and let's make chapter 3 as heading 1 and 3.1 must be formatted, it must be in heading two and there must be a label yeah a new label 3.1 3.1 so we have here and as you can see we have 3.1 then you can format the remaining ones 3.2 is research design and we need to remove the previous one and again you can format So you shall remove this part. Again, you can take us this one as a format for this one, and you shall remove this part. And then you can take this mix this one. this one is the previous one so let's select and we need to remove this part let's select this one format again for data analysis part no no 
here it must be in level 2 let's take this format for yes it must be 0 0.7 ok think it is I think we need to remove this one because it must be in chapter one okay so in this way we have finished uh, chapter three and we have left the final chapter which is chapter four so it must be heading to end we need to assign uh, a label label here 4.1 4.1 and then you can format this one where is 4.2 uh, here we have the budget part so let's remove this one so in this way you can format and the last part is reference and the reference must be in heading one as you can see so here we have the whole contents yeah starting from the cover page here is the cover page acknowledgement in the like you can check you can check so now we have left only to insert automatic table of content so this goes to the table of content part now we click here and simply we can insert you will go to the page layout page layout part then a reference and then at the left uh, margin you have table of content so click on that then we have different options here we have automatic table of content one and uh, automatic table two and even you can have a manual table but in this case we we need to select uh, what you want yeah let's select the automatic table one the only difference is in the automatic table one as you can see the format says contents but in automatic table two it says table of contents so let's select the first one now i think our table is automatically inserted okay so this is the automatic table of content and it is very attractive as you can see so even you, you can format yeah you can select the whole automatic table of content and you can format go to home then the font must be times new roman and the font size is 12 and check the spacing it must be justified and the spacing should be 1.5 and you need to remove any unnecessary spaces so as you can see here it is very attractive it is very attractive okay this is our automatic table of contents yeah? it is very attractive so by this uh, we will finish this uh, tutorial if you like this video please subscribe this channel so that you will have uh, uh, more related videos for instance the next video will be how to insert automatic list of figure and automatic uh, list of tables make your comment on the comment section even you can ask any question related to the tutorial videos okay so thank you goodbye